What's going on, YouTube? Uh, welcome to the channel. This is the Chronicles of Beastie. Um, and this is Beastie. This is the only Stew Edition F-150 in the world. Um, so I wanted to just briefly go around and show you all of the modifications that we've done. I got Beastie in February 2020, and at the time of making this video, it is September. So, I just basically wanted to go around and show how you too can make your own edition of the F-150. Um, obviously, there's some things that I've done. Uh, I removed all the chrome uh, off of Beastie. Uh, the very first thing was I got rid of that... Uh, that grill and I put in the Raptor grill. That was the first thing. Uh, the next thing was, um, didn't like the chrome on the bumpers. Um, so guess what? Didn't, didn't wrap it, but plastic dipped it. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the same thing with the running boards. Um, and all of my plaques, I went ahead and did that all black and, um, you know, I'm Stu. So guess what? Made sure I put it on there. Um, let's keep going. Uh, I did the back of my light, uh, my mirrors. I painted them to match the truck, obviously. Um, this is the XLT edition, so this did not come with these uh, on there. I had those installed. I'll put all the uh, information in uh, the comments or the little uh, section below. Um, went ahead and did that. Uh, 24 is on there. Uh, I'll talk about the uh, brakes in a minute. Uh, Flowmaster exhaust, I, I put that in there. Um, black tip, obviously, to match the rest of the truck. Uh, smoked out my uh, taillights. Um, LEDs, uh, LEDs in there. Um, probably the most hardest thing was the logo. I took that out and I tried the best I could to color match the truck there. Um, of course, logos, uh, truck bed cover, uh, the, what they call it the Lano. I went ahead and did that. Um, let's go on the inside. I think it's open yes it is okay um everything inside of here is pretty basic um i still have the four inch screen uh, i'm looking to put in the 12 i thought about putting in the eight and the rear view camera but you know at the end of the day it's really just not worth it so um of course i am a Marine Corps veteran. Um, I'm thinking about upgrading my uh, my mats. Haven't really uh, given it much thought, but I know that you know when I'm riding, this right here seems to really annoy me. Um, but this this is I have one uh, subwoofer in here. Um, it is a 12 inch and I had this box custom made. Now I will tell you, I got it from subthump.com. I will put that in the description uh, below. Um, custom made. It fits for the 2015 F-150. Um, I will tell you this. Um, I'm going to plug them. They make a good job. I mean, it fits in there snugly. Um, it's a perfect fit. They just take a long time to get it to you. Um, I ordered this in, I believe I ordered it in June and I didn't get it until uh, August, I think. Um, but as I said, their boxes are very good quality. Um, it came in, I, I installed it, got right to work. I have a 12 inch in there. 
um, no problems whatsoever. And they also give you the option of, of matching. And I thought I picked the right gray, but obviously I didn't. But at the end of the day, it fits, it works, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, I have a Pioneer P2D4 uh, subwoofer in there. And obviously I can modify it. The, um, the base thump there um i have a pioneer 750 watt amp um let's see what else okay let's go into my brakes um i ran the extreme c36 package all around drilled and slotted rotors and brakes i actually painted the uh calipers to match um like i said i did that all the way around um style i am listen i'm from the west coast so you know i'm gonna make sure that this thing rides as smooth as possible so i put some 24s in there and um i'm looking to upgrade my tires because even though it is a great looking truck i just feel like those low profiles could be a little bit bigger just to fill the tire well. Um, let me know what you all think. Um, I've obviously removed um, my antenna solely because I don't really listen to the radio. Most of the time I'm plugged into YouTube and I ride around with that. Let's go in here and look under the hood. Uh, I did install an oil separator, uh, as you can see here, I did install that, uh, everything else, I, <laughs> I'm rocking with the, uh, 5.0 V8, you know, couldn't have a, the name like Beastie <laughs> without a V8, uh, tailgate assist, yep. Guess what? I got it. So that is it for today. It looks like it's gonna rain, so I'm not going to wash Beastie today. But hey, again, uh, you have any questions, comments, anything that you think like I should be doing to Beastie, please let me know. I definitely want to upgrade my running boards uh, definitely want to do that. Um, and of course they have to be black. So, Hey, leave your comments, leave your suggestions in the, uh, comments below, but leave your negativity at the door. Hey, this is BC and, uh, I'm your host Stu. Look forward to hearing from you until next time.